Chris Rudnick, and welcome to my crib. As you can see, there's a wall to the left of me. There's a wall to the right to me. In the next room, this is where the magic happens, right? You got two, two, three USB ports over there. You got a thing to turn the light on and off. And you got two little cubbies to hold two phones because one for Courtney and one for the backup pose. And that's my crib. Well guys, this is our last night in Tokyo staying. And what what do last we have? Last full night. Last, last full, full night, yeah. We're staying at a capsule hotel that we thought was really funny back in the States to plan. Yeah, and I don't know why we did it for the last day because uh. like now we're all shot. Like look at all this luggage. I have all these car parts, car parts, car parts. He's got his suitcase. I'm gonna get another suitcase, backpacks, all of this, dude. Yeah, we didn't think it through. But then again, we didn't know the last day was gonna be super exhausting, super rainy. Yeah. And weird. The cool thing is we get to experience the capsule hotel. Again. What? What? What is what is the reception's right there. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try to get everything out of here. I'm gonna get the, the set up. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm starting to get super no nervous. Because okay. we need a locker room for our baggage, dude. What does that mean? <laughs> How small is this room, dude? Dude, the bathroom's nice. Wait, this is the bathroom? What the hell? Oh, cool. At least, like, Okay, so you have to come to the lobby to shower. At least you have like your own little room, you know? Yeah. It's not like some random like free for all, like a jail cell or something. That would be kind of strange. No, I wouldn't even shower. That'd be awkward. This is cool though. I don't want people seeing my pee pee and ball sack, you know what I mean? That's a different kind of YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, this is the locker room. Literally, this is literally a locker room. You can keep your like, personal stuff in the little lockers. I would like to bring my backpack in my bag so I can unbox the stuff for a different video. Let's go check out our room things. Yeah, let's do, I'll do it, man. Let's, let's do it. Roberto? Oh, yeah, I think you can't talk too loud. I think that's like the whole point. I'm scared. Look behind you. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I'm not doing this. What do you mean? 606, I guess we're not there. I guess we're dude, you would sleep in the wall. No, dude. Please tell me it's a joke. What do you want? You want 606 or do you want 604? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm on the top. Oh. Yeah, the bottom. I want this corner. There you go, take it. Dude. <laughs> Can we talk about this for a second? I... <laughs> I'm so excited and confused and... Is this what you, did you know about this? I semi, I watched like one and a half, like I watched half of YouTube on it. <laughs> Have a YouTube video. Dude, on. if I knew this was it, I never would have done this. Really? I mean, for my last day, dude, I want I was like excited to like go to the hotel and chill. Okay, now let's 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 talk about this real quick. <sighs> Here's what happened. Mm. This is the conversation we had. Okay. Hey Rednick, this is what we're doing on your trip to the hotel. It's gonna be really funny. This uh, uh, no dude, don't tell me. I just want it to be a surprise. This is that is what happened. That is, but honestly I didn't think in my life that there's this would be a thing. Okay, this is we, this cost us twenty eight dollars. It's twenty eight bucks. Yeah. Well, I guess, cause it's not bad. I mean, I. How am I even gonna edit, dude? I mean, there's Wi Fi. You can <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do my unboxing stuff in my cube. I don't know, man. This is this is too much for me. I can see why they wanted you to drop every single thing in luggage. Yeah, yeah, that thing fits here. I mean, wait. Can you? Is there like a blind or something? How do you charge your stuff? Oh, oh that that makes life a little yeah. better. Honestly, that makes sense. I mean, people can't see you. You can jerk off in here. You can. I don't know if I would. I can't believe this is real. To be completely honest with you. But is it cool? It's it's kind of cool. Like I I feel like I'm. Have you ever seen the hundred? I just, I feel like I'm getting put away to go to rest for a very long time. 
is like kind of creeping me out. And like the silence is, I, I'm not good with silence. So I'm literally, gonna, I'm gonna have to fall asleep with headphones because this is weird to me. Mm. Well. This is how we end our Japan trip. <laughs> this is how we end our Japan trip. <laughs> In this. The cool thing is you have a cool view. So that's not bad. It's still super weird to me that we're even here. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I must say, the capsule at first, it's a little sketchy, it was a little weird, it was a little like, okay, I'm gonna go sleep in here and I feel like I'm gonna go to sleep for a hundred years, but let me tell you, this thing was like $14 for the night. My back hurts a little, not gonna lie, but it was very relaxing, it's very quiet, and um, I mean, overall, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, I'm just happy that the showers were individual and they weren't like a community because, um, I heard that they were a community and that would have been like super weird, but Capsule Hotel, definitely an A plus. I'll probably do this again once I come back, but let's get the fuck out of here now. Well guys, after a long night's sleep in my capsule, this sadly is the last day we are at the airport and we figured we would ball out. We just got a we just got a feast. What'd you get? You got some sushi? Sushi. Some sushi. Goza. Dumplings. And then I got fish and chips, some ramen. I had sushi, but I already ate it. And some whiskey, because we're gonna have a long plane. You ready for a good trip? Yeah, yeah cheers to a good trip. Cheers to a good trip. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Chocolate fix. High chew fix, so. I mean, we live in Florida. Do you ever see high chews anywhere? Uh, they actually sell them at Cha-Cha's, the okay, restaurant. Fine, fine. They sell them at Cha-Cha's, but they look like this. They don't. Ah, I literally just sold this place out of high chews, so um, we're gonna get on the plane. I'm gonna enjoy some candy. I have chocolate. Chocolate, I have a bunch of chocolate. I actually just bought a bunch of more chocolates in here, but I have like $10 left. I spent $40 at 7-Eleven on snacks. That's oh. a flex. I have $10 left in cash, I'm gonna spend it. <laughs> nice. Chris, money, Rudnick. Chris, money, Rudnick, but the funny thing is Ricardo paid for this. So our plane's boarding right now, one through nine. We're group seven, because we're peasants. And um, there's literally a line that's probably gonna take 20 minutes. So I figure, we sit here, we- uh, Can I say something? Yeah, sure. You need something. I need- Grab your cup. The sake? Dude, mine, I wanna grab mine. So Roberto actually forced me into this. Don't want ah, Jesus. Oh, hold, hold, hold. <laughs> hold. <laughs> All right. R Roberto forced me into this. It's funny. It's not. God damn it, dude. This is really nice on the butt, dude. Imagine if the fucking airplane chairs were like this. Hell yeah. Nice on the butt. Getting massages on, at the airport, bro? Hell yeah. Waiting in line? Hell no. <laughs> Pick up your hell yeah shirts. Link in the bio. So instead of boarding the plane, I was sitting in a massage chair drinking a sake bomb, and like we literally went to our terminal. There was zero people here. Okay. It was a ghost town. Well, let's talk about the backstory. There was a line, a huge we line. We waited what six minutes. Six minutes. It was and a ghost there was town. No line. So we <laughs> thought we were gonna miss it. Yeah. So I mean, I'm happy. We're going to the plane now. We don't really have to wait for anything anymore. So yeah, we're good. I mean, honestly, if you're that person who gets up to go to a plane early, like, you're not doing yourself a favor. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's like speeding to a red light. <laughs> Especially if you're going to be on the plane for 14 hours. Like, why rush to your seat, Literally, you know? Let me go. Let me go. And <laughs> Stretch out those balls. Yeah, yeah, up. <laughs> up. Pinky's up, dude. We got the red carpet all to ourselves. This is nice. Do we do it again? <laughs> this is sick. All right, here we come, Dallas. Party on the plane, dude. Party up, dude. You ready for this? <sighs> like over 10 hours ago. Alright, so we're in Texas. What do you think of Texas? Big. Big? Real big. Nothing bad ever happened in Texas here. We back in Florida. 
hell yeah. You excited? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't want to leave, but we had to leave. All right, guys. Well, we finally made it home. It was a very, very long travel, and um, I think it was like 12 hours or something on the first one, and three hours on the second one but we had a two and a half hour layover and you already know but i think i'm gonna end the video here if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up want to subscribe for more subscribe for more i am absolutely beat i cannot wait to start the next day tomorrow we have a lot of stuff to do on the road so we have a lot of stuff to do with the drift car because if you watched my drift videos then you would know that we need some grip in that thing so we're gonna do that asap i'm gonna order some tires and we're gonna be good to go so don't forget to get your junk merch go down in the bio below get some hell yeah shirts they are limited edition and thank you for watching and peace out